I can choose to bow. Let's not bow. Let's be a rebel. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are now in the Imperial Paris in Vizima. The Emperor is waiting for us. He has an offer for us, which we don't know what it is just yet. And uh, we've been scrubbed down by his servants and all that. And we've been given three, costume three outfits to pick from. So we're going to look at the first one and see what it's all about. So we can loot this. Can we take them all actually? Oh look at this. Yeah, it's just, I think we can take them all and then why not sell them, you know? <laughs> Let's get as much money out of this as we can. You can probably loot around as well. Seeing as this is the Imperial Palace, there might actually be some good stuff. A doll and blueberries. Just quick, I'm going to quickly loot around guys. <laughs> just bear with me. Alright guys, I know a bit of looting there. There wasn't actually that much of anything valuable. Just mugs and like stuff that I can sell cheap prices. So we need to get dressed. Let's open up the inventory. Oh, go to um, our clothes. Alright, so what have we got? It looks like all the boots are the same, so it doesn't matter which one we wear. The pants may look the same as well. Yeah, they do. So let's put on the pants and the... Um, <laughs> let's put on a towel. Look at that. Do we get to keep the towel? I'm going to wear that in battle. And um, we have to pick a top. Now these three will all look different, so let's go through them. We've got this one there. And we got that one. I don't like that one. That looks like a woman's dress. And then we got that one. I think I like the first one the best. Let's look at the first one again. Yeah, I'm going with that. I like, I like the pattern on it. So let's go speak to the guy. We are now ready. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Um, yes. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Novgorod. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um, confirm away. I'm not a boar. I know how to bow. Let's just tell him that we know how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. Oh. Is that it? That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the <laughs> Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Okay. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh no. Right leg forward, left hand on chest, left leg forward, right hand on chest, left leg back. I think his left leg was forward. Yeah, that one. Oh god, that doesn't look right. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. I think that was right. That's the way you meant to do it. So now the Emperor is waiting for us. Let's follow the Chamberlain. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Grimmy et art kerze. Dyfen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. I can choose to bow. Let's not bow. Let's be a rebel. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still have unmastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. I bow to no one. <laughs> T 
take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Alright, so... I didn't know she was... I know in the dream she got attacked, didn't she? So I'm guessing in the previous game she went missing. So I can either say, why me? Or she's back. Are you sure? So let's talk about this first. Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanifu will do that after the audience. Okay, so the only choice left is why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Who? Need information, not motivation. Only doing this for Siri. That one sounds like you're turning down the money, so I'm going to say this one. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them, and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Who's the sorceress? What magic and stuff is it? <sighs> Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. It's not witches of etiquette for one day. What? Do you know who so I think witches made their own rules up, don't they? It doesn't really matter that I didn't bow. I like to, like, as this character start like go against the rules, I think it's quite cool that you can kind of just like do your own thing because you are so deadly as a witcher. A lot of people fear you, even though people in pubs like want to brawl with you. You'd think they'd be like more scared because of what you're capable of. But I don't know. People want to be idiots in this game. So we're heading towards the sorceress. He said, didn't he? Isn't Yennefer a sorceress? Like she does magic and stuff, doesn't she? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Alright then. In here? Yep. So we have to yeah, talk to Yennefer is the quest, so she is the sorceress. There she is. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. All right, so she, she's been missing for a while then. So they are our agents now, yet yeah, all grown up. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't, not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. 
I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Alright, so the Wild Hunt are chasing her. They're looking for her. So they didn't take her initially. So I don't know how she went missing. Because in the dream, she got attacked by the Wild Hunt, didn't she? So I'm not too sure what happened to her. So where's Siri being seen? What's the how? Let's see what they want with Siri. It's probably because she's the Emperor's daughter, isn't she? That's why they want her. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. Oh, she's a witcher as well, isn't she? I forgot about that. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Alright then. So let's get going then. So we're gonna go separate ways to start with and then we'll meet up later on. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, Talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Right, so she told us that, you know, she needs to stop using magic because the Wild Hunt is sensing her magic. And then she suggests that she teleports us to Velen. Oh, look at that. What's she doing? I thought you weren't using magic! <laughs> You're contradicting yourself. Can I come in there? So she's gone to Skellagad, I think it was called. She just teleports around, does she? That's quite good. Well, I've got to do like a, probably like a few days ride. So we we'll retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain as the next quest. Let's get our equipment back. Our weapons and stuff, and armor. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Alright then, so travel to Velen. No! Let's get dressed, let's put our equipment back on. So now we know what the, the game is all about now. It's going to be a long journey about trying to find Siri. 
the Empress Daughter. And um, it looks pretty cool. I'm quite excited for it now. And I was a bit skeptical skeptical about how good the game was gonna be, but I think it's it's quite promising so far. I like I like the combat a lot. At, at first I didn't really like the combat, but now it's just, I'm quite enjoying it, it's weird. I've changed it's changed me right round to my opinion on the game. But um yeah, I'm liking this so far. Let's um, let's make our way to Velen then. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a quest over there. What's this? Civilization ends at this camp. Mm. Oh, he wants to play Gwent. This is the card game. I haven't shown this in the recording, so why not? Let's play it. Um, oh, we can bet. Okay, let's go for five. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of. Thank you. All right, guys. I just played against the guy, and it didn't make for quite much viewing pleasure because I completely messed up and lost all my cards. Well, I did, it wasn't a good game, so I'm not going to keep this that game in the recording. I'm going to continue and make our way to Velen. Just ignore that ever happened. That conversation never happened. So we need to fast travel now. We need to go to Velen. So if we zoom out. Velen, there we go. No man's land. Let's zoom in. And, and now we just travel there, right? Yep. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. All right, it took us five days to get here. <laughs> well, um, Yennefer teleported instantly, got there in seconds, it took us five days. Oh, that's pretty gruesome. Oh my god, that's been there for ages. Look at that, it's just bones. I guess the birds have ate the, the skin. And muscle and everything. Oh my god, that's, that's terrible. Who's done that? <laughs> it's a bit messed up, isn't it? I've still, I've still got the bloody griffin's head on my horse. I mean, that looks... Kind of cool, but it also looks really stupid. <laughs> Just having a yeah, big griffin head hanging off the side of your horse. So we need to get to the inn at the crossroads. Quite a long ride away. That's like 400 and something. 450-ish um, footsteps away. Oh, bit of lag there. I'm going to call that footsteps. Because um, although it's like... I don't think it's meters or feet. Or maybe it's feet. Footsteps, yeah, feet. <laughs> Alright, now we're approaching the crossroads. We're going to enter the inn. I think we're here to meet a guy, aren't we, who's going to tell us some more about anything that's happened with Silly. What's her name? Silly? Cilia? I can't even remember. Um, ask about the agent called Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. So let's go to the barkeep first. The innkeep. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about Give me a bottle of something strong. Hmm. So who's approaching? You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink. Expecting visitors. Um, let's go for that one. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape Vodka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? <laughs> Is he a Geordie? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Back off or die, I'm a witcher, care for a drink. Um, care for a drink. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Um. Let's just tell them. On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Uh, 
Um, let's not push him too much. Let's cheers. To your health and mine. Friends. Bottoms up. Oh, this is quite cool. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. Oh, right, cool. So we kind of avoided combat there. I step in the hood, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. So let's finish talking to the innkeeper about the agent called Hendrik. Let's see what he's got to say. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Okay. Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. All right, cool. So we know a little bit more about where Hendrik is going to be. All right then, guys. That's all we've got time for for this video. So we've arrived in Velen. We're looking for a guy called Hendrik. We know a bit more about where he's living in Velen. So uh, we'll go out and find him in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.